Alright, welcome back guys. We are uh, back here on Hack the Box for another uh, machine walkthrough. Uh, today we're going to be doing the sequel machine. Um, this is part of tier one of the starting point track uh, to get into some pen testing stuff. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the tags on this machine. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a Linux operating system and then it's got the tag sequel, uh, MariaDB, and weak password. So we will uh, we'll keep those in mind for uh, for maybe an exploit chain here uh, in the future. But let's go ahead and tackle some of these tasks here. So starting off with task one, uh, this is asking again what the acronym for SQL stands for, and we answered this last time. But if you don't know or you aren't following along with this series, this is structured query language. So we'll go ahead and submit that. Um, task two looks like it's asking uh, for some scans already, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and scan this box. We'll come over to our virtual machine, um, enlarge this so we can see it. Um, I'm going to do sudo and map. We're going to do sv for standard version enumeration, sc for standard scripts. Uh, we're going to put v there and then we need to grab the IP address so we can scan our target. So let's copy this, come back, paste this. Um, as always, it's probably going to take a few minutes, so I will um, I'll cut this and jump back with you guys here in one second once this finishes up. Okay, welcome back, guys. So this finally finished um, scanning here. This did actually take a minute, so you know, let this actually run. Um, let it kind of go through its process. Uh, for whatever reason, this machine seems to take some time to scan uh, with our Nmap scan. Um, but we can go ahead and see that the port that we were looking for um, that was open is 3306. And it looks like that's going to be the MySQL port. So let's go ahead and take that. We'll come back over and answer this question. During our scan, we found 3306. Um, what community developed uh, MySQL version is the target running. So let's come back over, check out what version it is. So it doesn't look like we have a version here, but let's check out the info version uh, Maria DB. So let's see the format that that wanted that in. Oh, okay, it's just going to ask for the name. So this is just going to be Maria DB. Let's submit that. Um, and then we will uh, we will talk about this in one second. I'll show you guys what this is. But this is asking what switch we need to use in order to specify a login username for the MySQL service. So this is talking about how to log into the actual database from the command line. And that's going to be dash u. So just think of dash u as like dash user, and then you'd specify the username. Uh, we'll continue down here. It's going to say which username allows us to log into MariaDB without providing a password. So I think I know where this is going, uh, given that we have a little hint there at the end um, of the uh, asterisked out uh, answer. But I will go ahead, we'll, we'll do this together. So if you come down here, um, let's clear this so we can see what's going on. So to start a connection um, to a uh, MySQL service on the machine, we need to use dash H first. Um, and dash H is going to specify the IP address that it's running on, or else we will connect to a MySQL service running on our machine, which is what we don't want to do. Um, we want to connect to it on this machine that's hosting it. So we need dash, dash H with the uh, IP address, and then we're going to do dash U for a user. You can see it's already auto-completing because um, I've done quite a few boxes where this is the case. Um, but I believe it's going to be root. And you saw that on the, um, the answer. The last letter was T that was open uh, for the username. And the reason that we know this is root, this isn't just a guess in the dark. Um, MySQL, uh, by default, uh, gets a root user installed with it. Um, sometimes that root user won't have a password and you can just log straight in, which is I'm assuming what's gonna go on in this machine as well. And we'll go ahead and try that. Let's see if this is the user um, that we can log in as. So we will uh, we'll try to connect here. Um, this might take a second, might need to jump back over when this does connect um, and we'll get back once it does. Okay, so we let it, uh, we let it think for a second and it finally uh, connected up. 
Um, I promise <laughs> that is how that you connect into this. I'm not doing any uh, crazy stuff behind the edits. That's what's going to work. Um, but here you can see that uh, we're running some form of MariaDB. Um, and now we have a prompt. Um, and what we want to do here, you can see that this says none. Um, this is showing the database that we're currently using. So if you're unfamiliar with how the databases are structured, you have the actual service itself, which is the database management system, which is this MariaDB. Um, and then within that, you have different databases. So to, do, to list all those, you can type in show databases and enter. So now you can see the list of the databases that are on this machine. And it looks like the one that we're probably going to want to use is this hack the box one. So what we can do, we need to select the database that we're going to investigate first. So we need to use HTB, oh whoops, <laughs> use HTB, not HVB, use HTB. And then you can see here that we are now in the hack the box um, database. So once we have that, we can we want to see within that database, we want to see what tables exist. So to do that, we can use that same uh, show, show keyword and then do show tables. Um, and these are both of the tables that we see here. So it looks like there's a config table and then there's a users table. Um, typically this user table is going to be, uh, <laughs> going to be pretty interesting. Um, but let's just go ahead and check out what, uh, what types of data is in that users table. So instead, we can use this uh, keyword called describe. So we'll just do describe users. So we can see within this, um, within this users table, there's a user ID, a username, and an email. So let's go ahead and list everything out from this users table because there might be a flag in there somewhere. Um, or there might be another user that we can log on to the machine with. This might be, we might get a username email combination that we could use to log into something and uh, log in somewhere and get a flag. So let's do select all. You just not type all, you gotta use a star. So we're gonna select everything from users, which is the table. So we'll enter that and it looks like there's an admin here. Uh, we get an admin uh, username and email address. Uh, there is a couple other users, and these are all good things to know. So I'm going to go ahead and copy these down. I'm going to store these off screen. Oops. I'm going to go ahead and store these off screen really quick, just in case we need to use those. Um, and then just to be um, completely thorough, we will uh, we'll also check out what was in the other tables. So if I do show tables, at, show tables again, um, there was another table which was config. So we will um, we'll see what's inside of config. Um, it looks like there's a name and a value, um, which could be interesting. So let's go ahead and grab everything. Oops, we'll grab everything from config as well, just to make sure we're being thorough. And enter, okay, timeout. Oh, okay, right there, it looks like that's our flag. So let's keep that in mind. Uh, for one second, and we'll go back and answer the rest of these questions. So the username that we were able to log onto the machine with was root, so we will answer that. Um, what symbol can we use to specify within the query that we want to display everything inside the table? So you just saw that. That's This is kind of a uh, shorthand for um, saying I want everything. This is the asterisk character, and we'll submit that. And then what symbol do we need to end each query with? Um, so you kind of saw me doing this. You have to end each query with a semicolon. So we'll enter that. And then this is where our flag's at. So let's go ahead and grab our flag. And come back to here. We'll do hack the box, open curly brace, enter our flag, close the curly brace, and we will submit the flag to end the machine. So this is uh, that was a little different um, than the previous SQL machine that we just did. Uh, this one, we're actually navigating around the SQL service itself on the back end, and we're not just uh, injecting on the front end, um, which was cool. So the next machine that we will do is going to be Crocodile, um, and we will check that out in the next video. All right. Thank you, guys.